Hey everyone, Steven again from TST Industries. Welcome to another product feature episode where today I will be covering these Aero Cat Eliminator or Header Back Systems for the 2015 and up Yamaha YZF R1. Now before I dig into any details, I'm sure you guys would like to hear this setup. So check out these sound clips. All right, we're back in the studio. Let me give you a brief overview of what we have going on here. As I said in the introduction, this is a cat eliminator system. That means you're going to re be removing this bulky cat from your Yamaha. This thing is extremely bulky and very heavy, weighing in at over 14 pounds. You'll be replacing that with a stainless steel link pipe. Now I'm going to get into a little bit of further details about this link pipe in just a little bit, but first I'm gonna cover these two different canister options that we're offering right now. Over here to my right, towards your left, I have this titanium construction with a glossy carbon fiber end cap. You'll notice uh, that this has a carbon fiber shield on it that will come on every single version of this setup. We just simply didn't install it on this particular canister. So back over here, we do have a matte finish, carbon fiber shield, again, titanium construction on this particular canister option with a glossy carbon fiber end cap. Both of these canisters that are up here are technically a 250 millimeter version of Arrow's Indy Race canister. Over here on my left, your right, I have the dark aluminum version of the canister. Uh, as I just mentioned, aluminum in construction. There's about a one pound weight difference with the titanium being slightly lighter. So dark aluminum with a black finish on it. The carbon fiber end cap on this particular canister is matte. And just to clarify, you will also get the carbon fiber shield on this setup. Now, right now it's about mid-September. I'm not positive we'll be introducing more canister options in the future. If we do, I'm sure we'll have excellent detailed photos so that you can have a good representation of what those look like. Okay, jumping back into the mid pipe. We have your two O2 bungs welded onto the pipe. They do come with caps if you decide not to run O2 sensors, but for everyone else out there, it's simply screw in, ready to go. Now, I did mention that this is a stainless steel mid pipe. I wanna make that a critical feature here because we can compare it to this guy, which is the mid pipe that would come with a full competition Evo system from Aero. Now, I will briefly mention two distinct differences. One being that this is a titanium mid pipe. The titanium mid pipe is only available through the purchase of a full system. Now, the second feature, this might be a little bit difficult to tell, but the diameter going into the canister here is 65 millimeters on the full system mid pipe and only 53 millimeters on this cat eliminator system. All right, so the mid pipe for the full systems is slightly larger, a little bit more free flowing, and that's mostly because they know that with a full system like this, you're not gonna be restricted by your OEM headers in any way. Okay, continuing on, I actually wanted to do a quick comparison of the canisters for this cat eliminator system versus a full system. Here in my hands, I have a titanium canister for one of the full systems. This is a 230 millimeter short race tech canister that is slightly different from these Indy race. The end caps will be exactly the same glossy versus matte, not big difference there. However, if you can probably notice in this particular detailed camera, this has a slightly more sharp of a point to it on the top, while the Indy Race canister is more oval in shape. Slight difference there, but just wanted to let you guys know. Okay, let's continue on with some of the performance gains that you'll get out of this Cat Eliminator system. I'm going to immediately start out by saying I have not seen any dyno numbers to express the difference between this setup and an OEM setup, but hopefully those numbers will be out pretty soon from some aero testing or other third party providers. However, one of the biggest performance gains from a system like this is weight savings, and this is huge. As I had mentioned, the stock cat 
really big, really heavy, 14 pounds, you're gonna be saving 10 to 11 pounds just by going to a setup like this. So that's really awesome. Okay, to wrap this thing up, let's talk about price. As I had said, it's mid-September 2015 and the current MSRP on the two systems are as follows. The black aluminum version is slightly cheaper, coming in at just under 950 bucks. For the titanium version, we're looking at just, just around 1100. All right, let's wrap this thing up. I had forgotten to mention whenever I was doing the detailed breakdown of the canisters that they do include DB killers in the kit if you decide to install that. At this point, if you have any questions or comments about this system, you can give us a call at 386-868-2011 or send us an email to support at tsdindustries.com. Once again, I'm Steven. Catch you next time.